to another 5M tutorial. Today we're going to be going over how to edit vehicle handling whilst explaining what things mean along the way. With that said, let's get straight into it. Okay, so once you've located the data files for your vehicle, you're going to want to go ahead and open handling.meta. Now the software that I use is called Visual Studio Code. I highly recommend it. I will link it down in the description if you're interested. Basically, it just makes the text easier to read rather than using Notepad. So the first thing you notice is Belve right here. Don't worry if yours is different, it's just the custom name for your vehicle's handling. The next thing is F mass. So this is the weight of the vehicle. Um, it is in kg, so the heavier the vehicle, the more destruction it's going to cause um, against other vehicles. Or say if you crash into a traffic light, that value there determines whether the traffic light will fall over or just stop you. So for a van or a truck, SUV, anything like that, you're going to want a higher value rather than a coupe or a sport car. The next thing we're going to talk about is center of mass, pretty self-explanatory. We will go through more of this uh, later on as it can cause some problems. But the only thing you want to change on here most of the time is the um, Z value. Okay, so the next thing we're going to go through is the drive bias front. So what this is, is this determines whether the vehicle is uh, front wheel drive, rear wheel drive, or four wheel drive. So what you wanna do is 0.0, .0 or just zero, is rear wheel drive, 1.0 is front wheel drive, and any value between 0 0.01 to 0 0.99 is four wheel drive, and 0 0.5 is perfect four wheel drive. The next thing we're gonna do is initial drive gears. So this is how many gears the vehicle has, how many times it can shift up or shift down before you're reached um, your max revs. Next one is initial drive force. So this is how much drive force the car has. Any value between 0 0.01 to 2.0 and above is what you can put. 1.0 is unmodified. Anything higher than 1.0 is more drive force. Anything less is less drive force. The next one we're going to go through is drive inertia. So this is basically the rev speed or the acceleration, you could say. Uh, this is any value from 0.01 to 2.0. The default is 1.0. Basically, the bigger the value, the quicker red line or the maximum engine speed. The next thing we're going to go through is initial drive max flat level. So this is the vehicle speed at red line in the top gear, so basically max speed. Now, it is a bit weird with this on how you can work it out, but say if you wanted the vehicle to go 250 kilometers an hour, let's say, all you have to do is do 250 divided by 1.32. And that's the value you're going to put in. Obviously, you don't need to put all of these. You can just put it to the first two decimal points. Um, same way goes to if you want to figure out how quick the vehicle's going to go, you could do 189.39. I believe that's what it was. And you just opposite it. So 1.32 times. See, that's 250, basically, kilometers an hour. So that's if you want to figure out how quick your vehicle's going to go. Um... Now, this isn't always perfect, so you're not guaranteed to reach that. It's determined by what values you put on this and everything, but it will be close enough most of the time. The next thing is brake force. So right now it's at 0 0.33, uh, and this is pretty self-explanatory as well. It's how quick the car will brake, and it could be any value from 0 0.01 until 2.0 and above. Uh, by default is 1.0, basically the higher the value, the quicker the vehicle is going to break, the lower the value, the slower it's going to break. Um, I believe that's everything for now. The only other thing, oh yeah, I said I'd go back to this as well, the center of mass. So say if you're having a problem with the vehicle turning, when it's turning it rolls over slightly, then the Z1 is on 0, 0.0 right now, what you could do is you could do negative 0 0.15 something like that or you could go into the positive so 0 0.15 like that 
and that should fix it. Um, there is other ways of doing that, but I'm not going to go for it in this tutorial as it is only a quick one. If you'd like a more depth tutorial where I can go through which each and every one of these means, then I can do that. Just let me know in the comments or in my Discord, which is linked in the description. Other than that, have a good day. Thanks for watching.